We headed off from Umaria to the village of Patangar in yes. Madhya Pradesh. Travelling with Santosh Kumar Duivedi, a social worker with a huge interest in the tribal art of the Gond people. He drove for four hours from his home to the village. During the drive, he told us how the artists were doing. No, no, no purchased. Yeah. For many years, they sold their art to the government for export. This unexpectedly stopped. We had one stop for some chai. That just happened to coincide with the tropical downpour. Late by the time we arrived, we were welcomed by one of the artists and her family and friends. There was a power cut that lasted a few hours. We carried on regardless. Nadette helped to make the evening meal. Later on, the power was back and we had some dancing. The village of Patangar is situated on a small hill surrounded by farming country. Small farms with a few animals and cereal fields. Gond art is everywhere. The Gond people are an Indian ethnic group, one of the largest tribal groups in India. All of the artists have a strong connection with the land, as had their ancestors. In the morning, we went to visit a local artist, Umed Pata. Nadette already had some of his work from a visit the previous year. Umed's work is on paper. Gond art is heavily influenced by animals and nature. It was lovely to be invited into his home and look at his beautiful work. In the afternoon, we met up with the artists, some of whom had travelled from other villages. Nadette first came to Patangar in 2019 and fell in love with the people, the place and the art. With the help of Santosh and modern technology, she communicates with the artists. The Gondart India idea is to give the artists money for their work, which would allow them to remain in their villages and maintain their heritage. In Europe, if individual pieces are sold, more money can then be sent back to the village. By mid-afternoon, we'd moved outside for the selection. More translations were made. Santosh explains again the idea of Gond Art India. Names and artwork were noted down. Artists received a fair price for their work. Most artists sold at least one piece. <laughs> Thanks and salutations were made. Back in Umaria, the press came out to interview Santosh and Nadette about the Gond Art India project. Visit gondartindia.com and see the work for yourself. <laughs>